Friday, 17th of September 2021. The time is roughly 8.30pm, and 28-year-old primary school headteacher Sabina Nessa has just arranged to meet a friend at the depot bar in Pegler Square, South East London. The bar itself is located less than a mile away from her home on Astor Road, but she never made it there. The following day, at around 5.30pm, a dog walker was making their way through Cater Park, which is a shortcut between Astor Road and the bar itself. Here, Sabina's lifeless body was found under a pile of leaves, and so the police were called, and over this past week or so, a murder investigation has been underway. Since last weekend's murder investigation was opened, police have been following a number of inquiries, and some arrests have been made, but ultimately, as of yet, no one has been charged with her murder. But it would only be a few hours after her murder, the Metropolitan Police would make an arrest on a man believed to be in his 40s at an address in Lewisham, but he's since been released under police investigation. Then, on Thursday that's just passed, a 38-year-old man was arrested in connection with her murder as well at an address in Lewisham, but again, he was released under police investigation. From the small details we know surrounding what exactly happened to Sabina, ultimately, the investigation is very early, so we don't know much, but we do know that the post-mortem was taken on Monday the 20th of September, and the results have came back as inconclusive. A police source has told the Telegraph News, though, that CCTV footage they've seen of the attack, which hasn't been released to the public, appears to show her attacker strike her over the head with an object before carrying her over their shoulder towards Cater Park, which of course means she wasn't attacked in the park itself, rather closer to home, reports even suggesting it might have been only a few yards from her home address. But with no one charged in the investigation nearly a week on from her murder, police decided to release this CCTV footage in the hopes that someone could come forward to help out with their investigation. The CCTV that the police released is a man of interest they would like to speak to and shows him near to the pub that Sabina was headed to. The silver car that's shown right now is thought to have been that man's vehicle. The footage had a lot of people talking online though and it's clear to see why. For one, the man is acting very suspicious. He appears to put his hood up whilst looking away from the camera, but the main talking point on social media is, is the man carrying something in his hand or is that blood on them? What do you think? The police believe it could be the weapon used in the attack itself, which I'm unsure if I agree with. But nevertheless, I do think he's holding something rather than it being blood. In the latest update out of this investigation, and this is from today, the 26th of September 2021, it's being reported that a 36-year-old man was arrested at an address in East Sussex and currently remains in police custody. The difference between this arrest and the other two, though, is that the police have said that this is a significant development. Does that mean a charge? Not necessarily but think the other arrests weren't described as such. Whether this person goes on to be charged or not, of course we will have to wait, but the police have come out to say that they don't have intelligence to suggest that this person, whoever it is, will strike again, but I'm unsure how they came to that conclusion if they don't have their man yet. Recently, a vigil was held for Sabina though, and her family have came out to say this. I just want to say... Thank you for everyone who came here to show the support and respect for my sister. <laughs> we have lost an amazing, caring, beautiful sister who left this world far too early. <laughs> she didn't reach her 29th birthday next month. <laughs> Sabina loved her family. <laughs> We had lost our sister. My parents have lost their daughter. And my girls have lost such a brilliant, loving care. You an auntie who dearly loved her. Words cannot describe how we are feeling. This feels like we are stuck in a bad dream and can't get out of it. Our world is shattered. We have simply lost for words. No family should go through what we are going through. 
once again, thank you for everyone for coming and showing your support for my sister. Thank you. But that is all the publicly known information surrounding the murder of Sabina Nessa. And of course, we won't know the circumstances surrounding her death until the months go on and we eventually see someone in court, if that ever comes around. For now, though, all we can do is pay our respects to Sabina and her family and send our condolences over to them at this very difficult time. But give the video a like for more crime-related content like this and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Abe Hancho, and I'll see you in the next one.